So what I want to show you in this video is how we can import an ordinary spreadsheet into a SharePoint Online team site. So what I'll do to start off with is I have a spreadsheet here called SKU-Pricing. I'll just open it in Excel to give you an idea that is basically four columns and a number of, of different rows. So what I'm going to do is go back to my SharePoint team site and at the moment there is no um, option that you can see to import a spreadsheet. So to do that what we need to do is go to site contents. Now that will then display the items that are, are part of our SharePoint online team site. We then need to go to add an app and when we do so we'll get a list of applications that we can add to our SharePoint site. Some of these have been added from uh, the SharePoint online store. Now if we go through all these apps and don't forget there is more than one page generally so click down the bottom. What we should find in here is the ability to import a spreadsheet. So second last option here, import a spreadsheet. So we select that and what we're going to give it a name, we're going to give it a common name here of uh, SKU pricing and then what we're going to do is simply browse to the location of that file on our local drive that I just opened before directly in Excel so we'll find that in downloads and if we go to SKU pricing so all I need to do is select that I go import and that will then open up Excel on the desktop so obviously when you do do this process what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have Excel to complete the import process so I can for example select to import a table range but what I'm going to do here is just pull that down change it to a row of cells and then what I'm going to do is simply select that range of cells so again we're going from A1 to D21 which is correct in this case I go OK so I've now got a range of cells the cells that I want to import and I will press import. Now note that the first uh, row here will be the column heading so these will be the fields in SharePoint. So I go import and what will happen in a matter of moments is that that list will be created to um, our SharePoint team site and the records within that will be imported. So here we go you can see that it has brought that spreadsheet into basically a list in SharePoint Online called SKU pricing. Now if you have a look on the left hand side here you'll notice that as yet this item, this list doesn't appear in the list so it hasn't automatically added it to our quick launch menu. Now we can do that manually all we need to do is go up to here and select list in the top left hand corner then go over to the right on the ribbon menu and select site settings. In site settings we get a number of advanced options but what we're looking for here is the very first option under general settings list name description and navigation so if we select that you'll see that we can change the name of the list but the second option down here under navigation is do we want to display this in the quick launch bar over here so I'm going to select yes and save that and then what we'll see over here is that our list called SQ, SKU pricing um, appears automatically. Now something you may not also be aware of is that we can look at our SharePoint items in a number of different ways. So at the moment we're looking at it under all items but we may have a number of different views that we can look at this. So the most basic way we can do this, if we go to the ribbon menu up here, again we go to items but if we go to actually list what you'll see is the one of the options here I've got a quick edit mode. So if I've got a SharePoint list um, that looks like a spreadsheet, so rows and columns, I can throw it into this quick edit mode and as you see it looks very much now like a spreadsheet. So I could go in here and I could make a change to this and maybe make a change to this just like, a, just like I'm editing a spreadsheet. So again rather than having to open each individual item and edit it, again I can change the view to quick edit. So if I go back to view, um, for example, so if I wanted to change this item here traditionally I would have to select it um, then go to items, then I would have to edit the item and then that would bring it up a different menu. I would then have to add the price. Okay, so this is the traditional way of editing um, a list in SharePoint. But remember, in this case, we can go to list, we can go to quick edit 
and then it puts it into like a spreadsheet mode and we can then simply click in the cell and make the changes that we want. You'll see also that it works very much like Excel. I can copy and paste, drag and drop and do a number of operations very much like a spreadsheet. So when I finish doing that I simply go back to view and there I have my list. So what we've done here basically is I've shown you how to import a spreadsheet from your desktop on t into your SharePoint team site. I've shown you how to add that um, new list as an item in our quick launch menu by going into the settings for the list. And I've also shown you how to quickly go into the quick edit mode, puts it into a spreadsheet style rows and columns that allows you to navigate through in a browser and make any changes quickly and easily. So with that, thank you very much for watching.